Yeah. And the one last topic that I want to talk about is the export JSON uh, from SQL Server to uh, MongoDB. So for that, um, uh, let me go ahead and uh, uh, start my MongoDB instance. Well, before that, I had actually created a um, a a procedure um, called get person JSON. So for example, this is uses one of the JSON SQL that we wrote here. Uh, that actually converts the data from J SQL to JSON. Um, it's the same way, like exactly this document here. Uh, I'm, I'm actually exporting into and uh, putting in a procedure. So when I execute this procedure, I'm going to get the JSON data. All right. So before um, I want to uh, start the, I want to check whether my Mongo database is Mongo instance is running or not. So it's not running. So I'm going to go ahead and start my Mongo instance. Uh, so Mongo uh, DB path web specifying my database location uh, for my Mongo instance. So the database started running for the Mongo, and then I'm going to use another um, command prompt here to actually. Um, export the data from using BCP uh, using the procedure that I just wrote and I'm querying out into a JSON document uh, this is you I'm specifying minus T as a, as a Windows authentication and minus C as the the character format uh, output so I started and I, I created a document here in the E drive um, um, let me see here E drive called uh, in data json person dot json and you can see it's the same json it's a json array uh, because we did not add root element so <clears throat> all right so um and then i'm going to uh, uh, use something called a mongo import mongo import is a, one of the command shell that comes with the mongo database it allows you to import json documents or a csv documents or any other documents into mongodb so before i do that uh, let me actually um, go to mongo and uh, show you the databases i have um, so right now i only have local database but here uh, I'm going to uh, create a new database called AdventureWorks and a new collection called Person. Collection is like a schema in Mongo um, and a file using the same file that I have actually created here for person.json and I'm specifying that this is a JSON array. So uh, let me go ahead and actually run this Mongo import. Um, the Mongo import is um, an, an, a, a shell program so I'm going to run this. Uh, you can see here it imported the 10 documents because our select statement has top 10 so it only imported 10 documents so if you in this window here if you say, if you say show dbs you would see another database called adventure works this is something that it just created based on the the import command that we ran so let's uh, use uh, uh, let's go to adventure works database adventure in in mongodb um, and we switched and let's use show collections so we should see two collections uh, one is a person and system dot indexes which is a default uh, um, uh, collection in mongo so let's use the person uh, to find out our json uh, document so that actually uh, did not produce uh, so i would use something called pretty that actually converts the document into uh, a nice looking format so here uh, like i just discussed before uh, i'm able to query my json in the mongodb which i imported the data from j in, in json format from sql server directly so here i can see my json data in mongodb um, that actually so Hope you guys learned uh, a lot in this video um, and thank you for watching.